round rock on the beach. And everybody has that big yellowy glow to them. That's pure gold. Hi everyone, welcome to Wow Earth, sponsored by Michelob Ultra Pure Gold. I am Lauren Arboleda, I am founder of Food From The Heart, and I am winner of Master Chef Latino 2019. Here's my husband, Pedro, and today we're going to show you how we try to have a more sustainable life uh, in the real life. Uh, we learn every single day something new, but it's very important for us to grow our food. You don't have to have a, like a lot of space. You can start in your balcony, in a little planter. We have here our garden. This garden is called Huertica from the Heart. And I love it very much because you can see magic happening in your house. You have a seed and it starts growing little by little and then you have food to cook food from the heart recipes. So uh, we're going to, I'm going to show you a little bit what we have. So we have some tomatoes. We've been out of the city, uh, so it's a little bit dry, but it doesn't matter. You have to take care of it and put a lot of love. So we're going to grab some tomatoes. My husband is going to help me. The kids are here. <laughs> in uh, This is our bus. It's called uh, Guaguita from the heart. Everything in this house is from the heart because you have to do everything from the heart. Okay. So, so let's grab some tomatoes. Let's, let's get the tomatoes. So we have some tomatoes here. We have a little bit of rosemary, dandelion. Uh, we have sage. I love sage so much. We have thyme, some carrots. I love that we have like this, uh, this bed because we can have uh, vegetables like carrots. Usually it's very difficult if you have a, a, small, a, small, a small plant. Uh, what else do we have here? We have uh, thai, egg, egg basil, plants, eggplants, peppers, peppers. peppers. We have arugula. This arugula is super spicy, but I love it. So you start learning with the plants. So you can try things if you harvest this arugula when it's smaller. So it's going to be a little bit more better, the flavor, you know, it depends on how you like it. What else I'm going to show you here. What I love also about the plants is that you can save all the tiny scraps or for example scallions so i'm going to grab this from i'm going to show you the roots let me, let me help you let me help me so for example we the have roots. this scallion this scallion when you're going to cook you use it until here and you put this in water and once you have some roots you can plant it and then you're going to have scallions for the rest of your life you don't need to buy more so those those are the little tricks that you can start doing at home no matter the space you have for example this this was a, a loose leaf napa cabbage, napa cabbage yeah. yeah from high school my my older son and i just saved like the little bottom and we just waited for some roots to to grow and look it's like this size so you can use yeah use seeds you can just use uh, veggie scraps you can go to a local garden and ask for some plants and you can have it in your balcony in your house okay tomatoes. what else we have tomatoes here what else do you need? we're going to grab some thyme okay. uh, rosemary thyme. and scallions let's see what we can make with this this smells so good this or you want more yeah I see Perfect. we're also from Colombia <laughs> and we love cooking and eating and just spending time with our family and growing food that that Tomatoes makes us happy what else rosemary. Uh, rosemary okay let me grab the rosemary so you need the lower stand So 
So I think that the first step of, ha of like learning how to be more sustainable is plant it's having your like planting, growing your own food. Uh, I'm going to show you how we can cook with this. And then the food scraps, we use it for a compost. And that compost, it's eaten up by some worms. And that worm make the soil super nutrient dense, rich. super rich. And then we use that soil back in our garden. So it's all the cycle. So let's go. Look. Yeah. My little boy. Chocala cinco. <laughs> okay, so I have my herbs, I have my tomato, and we're going to make something fresh. I love using what I have uh, fresh from the garden because, you know, tomatoes grown in your own garden taste amazing. You're not going to taste a more flavorful tomato in your life. So I have here, uh, uh, this is a spaghetti squash. A spaghetti squash and inside there's a lot of seeds so these seeds we don't throw them away because we reuse everything in our kitchen so another tip to have to have a more sustainable life is to make the most out of your ingredients I have my baby uh, he wants to eat now <laughs> so making the most of out of your ingredients is using every single bit of the spaghetti squash. So you're, we're using the inside and we're using the seeds. So I'm going to take all the seeds out, out and I'm going to put them in on this pan that we're going to toast them. They taste amazing and you can get very creative using spices. I love using pumpkin spice for this um, for these seeds. Taste amazing. So you can use your hand or you can use a spoon using your hand it gives you that connection to food that it's amazing. You're transferring all the food into uh, all the love into your food. So we have here all the seeds. Okay, so we're using half of it. Let's put this here. What else? I'm going to have some. This is olive oil, some salt, some uh, garlic. Actually, you can also have uh, grab your garlic clove and uh, plant it, and you're going to have more garlic. Here, I'm just removing like um, like the skin but this skin is so flavorful this is amazing so what i do is that i save all these scraps that have a lot of flavor and i save it in the free in the freezer i'm going to show you because i love using my food scraps for a veggie soup so i do my own broth with veggie and the things that i do i can't reuse for example let's say um the this part of the strawberry this i can't use for my broth so i Save everything here, and then I transfer all the all the scraps that I have into my compost bed that I'm going to show you in a bit. So let's continue. I'm just going to put my tomatoes here, and I'm I'm going to roast it. That's it. So remember, roasting, putting things in uh, in the oven. It's another tip that I can give you to be more sustainable because sometimes we throw a lot of food away because. It gets bad really fast uh, in your fridge. So if you see that something's going, it's going bad, you just can put a little bit of oil, some salt and in the oven and you're going to have the things ready in your fridge. Uh, that way you have always food uh, when you're hungry and you're not throwing food away. That's really important. So let's put this here. Herbs are amazing. This smells so, so good. I have some thyme here and some rosemary for veggies, for drinks. This tastes so good. Okay. And I'm going to put this in the oven. Okay, 
So I'm going to show you my magic bag where I save all those things that have a lot of flavor but you don't uh, actually eat, but still very useful in the kitchen. Let's go and see. So here I have, uh, this is a reusable bag. This is made from um, plastic, silicone, not plastic. This is reusable. This will be like the substitute for a plastic Ziploc, for example, that you just use once. This you can wash and reuse and reuse and reuse. And here I have all those veggie scraps that I use for that broth that it's magical. So I'm going to show you, for example, we usually throw away uh, this is onion skin don't throw it away why onion skin has so much flavor so i have onion skin i have for example the the tops from from this red onion what else do i have for example i have a celery root here actually if i had more time at the, the the day that i use this celery you can put this part in water and once you see uh, some roots start growing, you can replant it. But if you don't replant it, you can use it for your breath. So I have there, what else, what else? Dan, da, da, da. These are asparagus. Asparagus, you can reuse it. Um, these are the stems, the, the bottom part of the asparagus. You can reuse it for broth. It, it gives so much flavor, trust me, that you're going, this tip saves your life and saves the planet because it's, it's, a simple, it's a simple action you can start implementing in your house. Just save the food scraps that are, are useful for, those, for that veggie broth. You can see that recipe in my blog, in my Instagram. I always share how you can reuse food scraps uh, in a very smart way. And I'm going to show you here that I use the same bag for freezing bananas. So there's always a better option to save your food. Let's take a look here in the fridge. Uh, okay, another very important tip uh, for being more sustainable in, the, in your house is to uh, save your food in the correct way so it doesn't go bad very fast. Another tip that I always love sharing is how to store your mushrooms in a paper bag. So the paper bag absorbs all the moisture and they last for, not forever, but longer. So I have my mushrooms here. You come from the, from the grocery store and you put them right away in these paper bags. Another tip that I love is to buy some reusable bags. So these reusable bags, uh, I, take it, I take them with me to the supermarket so I'm saving that plastic bag that you usually grab in the supermarket, I'm saving that bag. And also, uh, I'm saving a, a step because I come from the supermarket home, I just put everything in my, in my fridge. And also, this makes uh, food last longer because as I told you, the plastic bag creates a lot of moisture uh, and just food uh, gets ruined very fast. Another thing that I love doing is reusing everything. If you want to be more sustainable a little bit every single day, you have to reuse what you already have. That's super important. I reuse all the containers <laughs> that I get in the supermarket for everything. An example is to save my food. I can show you. This is a container for a sauerkraut that I love. So I save my, my nuts here. Uh, I also have mason jars to save everything. Uh, these glass containers are great for storing and also are better for, for your health because plastic releases some things that you don't want in your body. So uh, glass is the way to go. Okay, let's go back here. I have my, my seeds, the pumpkin seeds, and I'm going to toast them. Do, 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 do. You don't need anything else. You just put this with the spices that I told you. And that's it. You can save it in that reusable um, jar and you have it for life. Okay, so for these seeds, I'm going to use some curry just to make it different. 
You just need to be patient. And we're going to have that, those seeds very, very, very crunchy. Okay, I forgot to grab my bag because I'm, I'm reusing the garlic skin that I love. And also I'm grabbing this a sweet potato. What else? Because remember, when we roast in batch, we have we save a lot of food and we save a lot of time, active time in your kitchen. You have things ready here and you can put together a salad bowl, just make some quinoa, some rice, and you're ready to go. Okay, let's have this. Okay, let's close. As you can see, I love reusing containers for everything. Some beer for your life. <laughs> okay. So, I have my uh, garlic skin. I save everything here. When things start going bad, uh, you can compost. So, for example, you can see this garlic clove that it's a little bit bar bad here, but I don't throw the whole garlic clove away. I just slice the bad part and use the rest because that's how we can be more sustainable. We have to get in the mood of fixing things, of using the, the good part that it's really important when you wanna be more sustainable in life. Okay, so we put this here and then I'm going to use this in another recipe for this a garlic skin in my bag. I love this bag so much. You can see that I have like four carrots for my son's lunchbox. I use this bag so much. I have all the sizes available. I have this for like little snacks. And I also love using this paper. This is a bee wax paper. Instead of just plastic wrap, I use this bee wax paper that I love, you can just reuse it and reuse it and reuse it. For example, I have my uh, sweet potato here. I'm going to show you. It's a huge sweet potato. And this keeps food super fresh and will, it, will, it will last longer and you're not using just plastic just for the sake of plastic. I love it. You can put this uh, and just use a little bit of soap with your sponge and it's ready to reuse again. So I have this here. I was going to show you the things that I use for the lunchbox. Um, this, these bags are amazing. I also love using reusable straws. It's like you don't have to be like a crazy hippie <laughs> to love just making less waste. You can start little by little, like step by step. You don't have to be perfect. You just have to start with something. And that something can be bringing your own bag to the supermarket. That's, that's a huge step. If you do that, then tomorrow you can start exploring around, buying reusable uh, bags for your, for your food, for your snacks. You can start getting things little by little. You don't have to think you have to be perfect because otherwise you won't start like never in life. And we want you to start. Okay, so I have these straws that I, I carry with me everywhere. And for my son's lunchbox, I, I love using stainless steel. Stainless steel is the best. Uh, they, don't have, they don't grab like the smell, and it's also very clean for your food, so it's amazing. Okay, 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 I smell curry. Amazing, let's go and check on my, on my seeds. Meanwhile, I'm just going to touch a little bit more on my compost. I know that for, for some of you, compost, composting may seem like something very complicated and very like not for you if you live in an apartment or if you live in a regular house. You don't have to live in a farm to compost and to, to do something about your waste. What happens is the following. We feel, we, we think, that for example, if we cut half of the, of the strawberry and we put it in the trash can, mix with everything else, like with the, with the plastic containers, with tea, like dirty tissue, all, all, all the other ways that, that you make, you think that that's, that goes away magically, but it doesn't, it goes to the landfill. 
uh, and increased gases that are harming us, are harming our Earth, our planet, it's harming our animals and us. So, composting is a great way just to, to plant that little seed that, that our uh, Earth needs. Um, so that's, that's a reason for composting. If you don't like, uh, like the topic, you just can save a little bit your scraps and then send it away. There's a lot of people that does composting are in your area. You can search. There is a community gardens that love compost because, for example, my first step in, comp in composting was, I love baking a banana bread. <laughs> the banana bread I've been baking since forever. I, it's like eight years. And that banana bread, I, I was making a lot of waste with the banana peels. And I met this guy that he told me like, I could use it. I could use it because that's what I do like for a living. I compost and then I, I sell that soil. Uh, so if you don't want to compost yourself, there's someone that wants your scraps. <laughs> it sounds very funny, but that's, that's truth. Uh, okay, so I'm going to show you how I compost. This is a little container. You don't have to have this one. You can have just a, a little bag or just a, just a small container for, to store your food. So I, uh, I start putting everything here. I'm going to show you a little bit what I have. This doesn't smell bad. It is not something weird. It's very natural and very satisfying to see because you're going to see the magic we have back there. Okay, so we have banana peels, we have strawberry, we have some sticks <laughs> from my kid because he was going to harm someone. <laughs> we have some sticks, we have just little scraps, we have seeds. We also have a, a you can see here, but we have. I'm going to show you. We have um, the coffee, the coffee that you use. We don't throw it away. That coffee is amazing. You can use uh, use coffee for like for your plants. You can use it for compost. You can use it for to make cat stone poo in your garden too. <laughs> That's another use. And you can also use it to make a, a, a scrub. You can mix a little bit of. Um, coconut oil with coffee, coconut oil with coffee and some lavender uh, essential oil and it's amazing. You have, to, you have to do it. I also have it in my Instagram because I love natural beauty too. Okay, so when you have all those things here, by the end of the day, I take my container and I go back there and we have a, a compost bed that I'm going to show you. You don't need to have a compost bed. Nowadays, uh, it's very, I, I love it because everyone is getting more interested in composting. So there's a lot of possible ways you can go. There are some machines that you can put your food there and it, it, it acts like a food processor and that goes right away into the soil. There are some other things that are, that are, they take longer, but it doesn't smell. There's a little bit for everyone. Depends on, on your level of involvement. For me, it's very satisfying to see the cycle of life that I have in my house. So I have the plants, I have the plants in my garden that you saw, Huertica from the heart. I use the veggie scraps uh, uh, to compost and then that soil, that compost gets eaten by the worms at that soil. I use it back again in my garden because it's very nutrient rich. Nutrient rich. Nutrient rich. <laughs> Sorry, Colombian people problems. So it's a whole cycle, you know? It's a whole cycle and you see it right there in your house with your own eyes. And remember, we learn every single day. My husband and I, I learn every single day. How I started to compost was saving my scraps, giving it to someone else that needed them, or you can research a community garden. They love also um, veggie scraps to, to compost. So let's go and check the bed out. The bed out. Okay, so this is our compost bed. Uh, and Pedro, again, my husband, he's the one in charge of this. And also the huertica from the heart, he's really good with plants, so I let him work with that side and I cook with all the ingredients. So this bed is made of wood. Uh, it's not a bed, it's a compost box. Uh, it's made of wood, it's very special. We try to do everything at home as an experience for our kids. It's very important to plant 
those seeds uh, uh, in their heads. <laughs> so they enjoy all the process. So they actually painted uh, the this the box, yeah. the box with with some with paint their with their <gasps> names. Yeah, and uh, a very special person made this box for us. He's the warm whisperer. He's really good with soil. He knows a lot about worms and he did this box for us. Yeah, they're a monkey. So I have this, the container that I told you. I, I put all the food scraps here and then I bring it to this, uh, to this box. We try to do it once, uh, once okay. a day, yeah, at night or once every two days. Be careful. Okay, okay. We have some monkeys here in the house. Okay, so this is the real deal, yeah. Sometimes, uh, this doesn't smell like anything. This doesn't smell like anything, why? This is a very important question. We, all, we only uh, put here uh, food scraps, uh, but veggies and, and fruits. So it's veggies, fruits. We can also include some coffee, uh, eggshells are great. They have a lot of nutrients and the worms love it. So, but we don't have anything animal processing and we don't have like leftovers, for example. We don't have leftovers. Uh, all of the food, it's at room temperature, so it's not, nothing is hot. Uh, and we wait, for example, the coffee, the coffee grinds that, that there it's left over in the coffee machine. We we'll just let, the, let it uh, cool down before adding it to the box. It's, it's really important. So this compost, Pedro is the one. <laughs> I'm yeah. never around here. <laughs> and the kids, they love it around here. Um, no, it's, it's, I mean, this is where the magic happens. We have all the worms here. So <laughs> basically they decompose everything for us. So it doesn't smell. This is another community. You know, we have our house and this is like a little house. There's a lot of things here. There's worms, so this compost, it's a, it's an aerobic, what's the name? We don't, we're not experts. As you can see, we learn every single day. Um, and this is where magic happens, because as I told you, this is like a, a community. We have worms here, so worms eat all the, the food scraps. The soil is very nutrient rich, and we use that soil back into our garden. So it's the whole cycle, as I mentioned. We grow our food, we use it as much as we can, we reuse the food scraps to, uh, to bring it here, it decomposes, and then we use the soil. So it's, it's amazing how yeah. this happens. And this works like magic on the, on the plants. Anything that you put this on is like, like magic, the, the flowers, everything. Mm -hmm. We can see a little worm here. Yes! So these yeah. are like the workers. And uh, the name is Red, Red, what the? Red worm, I don't know. Red I something. <laughs> it's red something warm. And these, you have to make them very happy. So they're super happy with your foot scraps, with your veggie and foot scraps. And they eat everything up little by little, little by little, and they poop. And that poop makes they amazing care. soil that you need for your plants. Listo. Sometimes we have little frogs. Sometimes yeah. we have like some seeds growing out because, for example, a pumpkin seed, if it, it's thrown here, there's a lot of nutrients. So you get like some sprouts out of the, of the compost. It's super cool, you know? Mira. Gracias. He brought the... <laughs> to clean the... <laughs> yeah, he wants to clean everything. It's very, ha it's very wow. funny. Vení. Ah, okay. Gracias, Thank mi amor. You. So this is, this is it, this is the whole cycle. You don't have to be an expert again. You, you just have to be curious and you just want, you just need to want to do something, starting little by little. The composting, I love it because it's the whole cycle. For us, it's very important to teach our kids this, to do things from the heart. My company is called Food From The Heart, but actually my life motto is to do everything from the heart. From growing your food, uh, to composting your own scraps, to teaching your kids the really, yes. real important things in life, that it's helping the planet, helping the earth. We all need to start doing something. It doesn't matter how small your step is. That's the, the whole thing, as you can see. <laughs>
Have I yeah, we have a little worker. The other, the oldest son, he, he's, he has an ouch in his feet, so that's why he's not here, but he's a super monkey. And we're ready for dinner. Remember that butternut squash I started making? It's in the oven because I love being efficient with my time. So while I'm here showing you our compost bed, uh, we have everything in the oven ready to be, to be eaten. And remember that all the recipes are in my, my blog. My, bo my blog is Food From The Heart. You can find me on Instagram, Food From The Heart. Lauren Arboleda, that's the, how you pronounce it, the Colombian way. Lauren Arboleda, all the recipes are there. I love being very mindful with what we eat because what we eat impacts our, our whole world in a way you can't imagine. And uh, so that's very important. I have the, the bone, the veggie stock with the scraps. I have the spaghetti squash and I have a lot of recipes so you can start cooking at home because that not only makes you healthy, but it helps the planet. It helps the kids. Uh, it's a moment to, to be together. Yes. Like we are a team and you have to be a team in your house. It doesn't matter if you don't have a family with a friend boyfriend girlfriend or by yourself you can do this by yourself and enjoy the process of of helping out the earth that's the whole point of everything okay so let's close it we are ready for dinner listo 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 let's go we want to thank you we want to thank everyone thank my uh, mind body social michael Ultra Baptist Health and Florida Blue for this amazing and um, wow earth, this event that we all need to put our little grain of sand towards a better world and doing it from the heart. That's the most important thing.